Welcome to the channel guys, today we're going to be looking at some lightweight budget camping equipment. So the equipment we're looking at today is as shown, it comes in a neat little net bag um, off Amazon around £20, I will put the link in the description so let's open this up and I'll show you what's inside. So once it's opened up it turns into two separate pans which made up the little um, package we just saw, one's bigger than the other as you can see and um, the big one will hold about 800 mil of water i'm not sure if you can see the markings on the inside there obviously a little one there's no markings on it but it's probably about half that so around 400 mil quite handy they both have these handles which um come out obviously a bit of silicone around the edge so you're not going to burn yourself on them and then when you're done they do just collapse and snap back into place around the pot keep it nice and compact we also have stainless steel cup with it again Silicon around the edge, you're not going to burn yourself on that, which is ideal. We have another little bag about this size, and what came in there was some cutlery. So we have a knife, we get these little things that slide along to keep it in place, um, a fork, same again, and a spoon. So, again, all very handy. Um, especially with them coming in their own little bag and the fact they do collapse down it always makes it a bit better just means you can actually keep it compact in your bag nice and neat also when they're folded down so let's pull this back they're less likely to get damaged because they're not going to get bent and knocked around quite as much in your bag especially when being in a separate pouch as well so moving on from there this set does actually come with comes in a little orange box to keep it separate but this is what is classed as your actual stove itself so these little legs they all fan out so we've got three there and then we also have these little feet which we will extend open actually sorry there's four little legs I wondered why it wasn't opening properly so there they push around into place we open all them up. We have also got with this one a built-in ignition switch, which is just here. So you're not really going to be able to see that on the video. And then we've also got a nozzle, which adjusts how much gas is coming through. So that'll adjust your flame. So again, very handy. And then we also have one last thing, which is in the little bag still. This is actually a base for your gas canister itself. Let me just see if I can get that in for you just to show you on the video. And here we are attached to the bottom of the canister itself just to stop it wobbling over. Okay, so now what we'll do, I'll um, pop some water in the large pan and we will do a quick test. I'll put a timer next to it. Obviously I will speed that along so you can see um, just to boil some water using the canister and everything that came with this. So. I'm not changing the little stove over, I'm going to use the stove that came with it and you will see all I will comment is I am, as you can probably guess, in the back garden at the minute um, so it is a little bit unfair for you, obviously up in the mountains what I would suggest is getting yourself a wind guard obviously I've got fences around me so that is going to help, so just bear that in mind so yeah, we'll be back with the speed, well, the test video for boiling some water, okay? Right, so to complete this test what I'm going to do is fill the pot up with 800ml of cold water this has just come out of the tap, it's not warm already anything it's not even lukewarm it is actually cold and then we will set the timer I will do a time skip just so you can see I don't know if you can hear this now we've got the tank attached to the um, the stove if we twist this onto up I don't know if you can hear that's the gas coming through so what we're gonna do we're gonna get it started then we'll pop some tell you what, we'll pop the water in first so 800 mil Like I say, that is cold water out of the tap. We'll get this started and we'll get the time going.
So as you can see there, from cold water to a rolling boil, it took about five and a half minutes, which for a budget stove, 20 pound with pots, pans, it's got a built-in ignition. I don't think you can really complain too much, to be honest. One thing I will say, which I didn't do there, open your handles, obviously. I, for the purpose of the video, I didn't didn't really think. But yeah, to make sure you've got your handles open, so once your boil, water's boiled, you can just grab it off. I hope this has helped people that are looking for budget equipment, or if you want to just see, basically, a time if it is any good. I know you'll see reviews saying it's dead good, but sometimes it's better just to see it in person. So I do hope this has helped. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.